Insulation has now been tested for our dead tests of continuous CPC and combined polarity and insulation resistance. We're at the point now at level two where we're going to go live. The only tests we're going to carry out live at level two are rechecking polarity and functionality of the switches. This requires us to turn on the installation and I expect both lamps to illuminate if we have left the switches during the insulation resistance test in the on position. Turn on the circuit breaker, the six amp circuit breaker for the lighting circuit and the main RCCB goes on, both lamps illuminate. Okay, so that's good from the point of view that our insulation resistance test is done with the switches on. I can now recheck polarity. In other words, does the circuit work? Operating the first switch, we expect both lights to go off two ways. So we go to the second switch, we expect them both to go on. On this switch, we can turn them both off and turn them back on. So we've pre-proved polarity as well as the switches are functional. They actually open and close and turn on and off the circuit. The other switches we've got are built within the consumer unit, glorified switching in the case of a circuit breaker. When I operate the circuit breaker for the lighting circuit, I expect the lighting circuit to go off and not the sockets or water heater. In this case, there is only one circuit breaker in the disboard and it does turn off the lights and should reset. We've also got RC, CB as a main switch, so we must press the test button in there. That should be pressed every three months to check its functionality. In this case, the whole installation would go off, but we've only got one circuit. I expect to see the circuit go off when the test button is pressed, and then re-energize when it's reset. They're the tests that we're gonna carry out live at level two for live. Recheck polarity, does it work? The functionality of the switches, including those incorporated within the consumer's unit.